Hey guys, Jim Stroud here, and I want to confess to all, I guess it's not really a secret, but I love Google. I use it every day. And according to this uh, new uh, research report that I discovered recently, uh, that would make it a recent report, uh, Comscore said that Google enjoys an 84% search share. Uh, that means most people are using Google as opposed to using Yahoo or Ask or AltaVista or these other search engines out there. Well, and it also uh, stated in that same report that Google's users are very loyal. That means that when they do a search on Google, they go back and they don't really experiment on other search engines. They just love Google and they stay there, um, which is, you know, good for Google. But uh, there is a new sheriff in town, and, uh, and that new sheriff is called Bing. Now, unless you've uh, lived under a rock for the past a few weeks, uh, then you know that Microsoft has launched a new search engine called Bing and um, they're really, really, really gunning uh, for Google. The competition is fierce. Uh, I've read several articles online about how great and wonderful uh, Bing is. Some said um, that, uh, actually let me look at some of these articles here, some said that, the, uh, that Bing was uh, America's favorite I uh, don't know about it being America's favorite, but it certainly is the favorite in Canada. Uh, you look at this result here, and you see how much Canadians are really, really loving on Bing. Um, you see where Bing is right there in one spot, and you see where uh, Yahoo is, and you see where, where Google is. Not too far from the top, but still not in the number one position, which I'm sure they enjoyed uh, prior to Bing being there. Also found out that Bing is um, getting some love from the Waz. Yes, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wozniak, co-founder of Apple here. As you see, he is also a lover of the Bing. Um, Ashton Kutcher is also um, someone who, who is digging the, uh, the Bing vibe. You know, so Bing is getting a bit love fest. And as I was reading all these different articles, I started getting into this uh, new sheriff in town mentality uh, that I referenced earlier. And I was imagining that, you know, uh, Bing walking down the street and, and Google walking down uh, with his army of loyal followers and, and taking on Bing and this big uh, cowboy shoot 'em up kind of a deal. And um, it made me wonder, is, is this a situation where um, Microsoft uh, dominates the market again? I'm thinking about Netscape back in the day. Can they do it again with Google? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's. It's something that a lot of people are interested in, a lot, something a lot of people are watching. Uh, a lot of people want to know what's going to happen, and, and I am one of them. Um, uh, as I said before, I am a big Google fan, but I am very big on experimentation and seeing what is out there. So um, on this episode of Searchology, what I want to do is explore Bing a little bit and show you some of the things that I like about Bing and something that maybe you like about Bing as well. Uh, one thing that I like about Bing is that it has a search history here on the side, which makes it very convenient. Yes, Google has a search history um, that you can go into if you have a Google account. Um, and you need an account with Bing to, to save your search history too, but I like it that the search history is here on the side uh, for those times that uh, I have uh, mind farts. <laughs> some, pe some people may call them senior moments, but I don't think I'm quite in that senior moment phase yet. So I call them mind farts. When I do something and I forget, okay, what did I just do? What did I just type? Well, Bing makes it easy by putting uh, my recent searches here on the left side. Another thing that I really like that I wish Google had done a long time ago, but what I'm talking about Bing now. One thing that Bing does that Google doesn't that I really like is that I can preview my searches. Uh, if you look here on the side, I can just sort of uh, scroll here and have a quick peek at uh, what I will be looking at. So if you're looking for resumes, let me click another one of my searches here. Yeah. Um, you can sort of preview what you have there and it saves me time and I love saving time in my searches so I really really appreciate uh, that function. 
Another thing that I really like about Bing is that I can type in a company name. Let's see here. Let's uh, type in, uh, well, Microsoft, uh, since we're talking about them. And let's say Redmond, Washington. So um, I type in a company name and a city and state. And Bing brings me back the phone number and directions to the site and a little map of where it is. Um, hopefully you see how handy that is. Uh, if you're looking for, uh, let's say, um, I don't know, candidates that work for Microsoft and you want to know, or candidates work for any particular company, you want to know where that company is. Um, I think I just totally lost my train of thought there, but that's, that's what I meant by mind fart. <laughs>